the submission form is available now. Even if you're not ready to submit, and that's okay, most teams wait until the final week and sometimes even the last minute, but it makes sense to understand which will need to prepare in advance. Open the submission form to see details on the information required and the field length limits. Explore the participation agreement. This contains the complete rules, prize details, and eligibility criteria. And if you think you're ready, feel free to submit your application already. If things change, just submit again using the same email address. We'll take the last submission from that email address as the final one. My first submission tip is don't reinvent the wheel. As you brainstorm your solution, look at other solutions that may exist already. There may be existing tools, data sets, and APIs that you can build on. Your solution will have the greatest impact if it addresses a long-standing problem that doesn't have an existing solution. It will also be more valuable if it builds on something that's already widely used. Maybe a commercial product, maybe an open source project, something else maybe with an API. It's also important to look at standards and protocols that can, you can implement or leverage, such as the OASIS EDXL format. My second tip is to document your source code repository very well. That goes beyond what goes in the submission form. The call for code submission form allows you to provide information about your application in various formats, but one of the best ways to detail how your code works, how it solves other problems, is to provide as much additional detail as you can in a consumable way so the judges can understand what you've built. And a great way to do that is to start with a great readme file. There's lots of best practices for this, and in fact, our project skeleton has one that's fleshed out for you that you can use for inspiration. Invest the time to create a powerful video. One of the most powerful ways to tie together your entire submission and one that will have an impact on various types of judges, technical folks, non-technical folks, will be a video that really quickly describes what you're trying to solve, how you solved it, do a, do a, does a demo of the submission itself with the full user flow, and then 45 seconds on the results and next steps, where you want to go with the project. Finally, Double check the permissions on the video and source code repository that you provide in the submission form. There's no way for the judges to assess something if they can't get access to it. So even if you have a great solution, if the judges can't evaluate it, it will be disqualified. Double check the permissions. And that's it. Find us in Slack to answer any other questions. And best of luck in the competition. Your code can change the world. If you have any other questions, check out the challenge page and the FAQ pages. They have complete details.